Hello, welcome to the SEM Motor Grader product line features and benefits video. Today I'd like to talk through some of the features and benefits of our three models of SEM Motor Graders, featuring a proven load sensing hydraulic system with proportional priority pressure compensating valves. Our motor graders meet our customers' needs in operator comfort, fuel consumption, and efficiency. Manufactured here at our Caterpillar Qingzhou Limited facility, the SEM motor graders are the ideal machine for our customers in all applications, such as finish grading, heavy blading, slope work, ripping, and snow removal. Today what I'd like to do is focus on four key areas of the machine and walk through them in detail, talking about the performance, the drawbar circle moldboard system, the operator, comfort, as well as safety. We'll talk through all three models that we have, starting with the 919, which is a 140 kilowatt machine, the 921, which is a 162 kilowatt machine, and the 922, which is a 162 kilowatt machine with the all-wheel drive system. Let me focus in on the front axle for just a few seconds. Two things I'd like to cover are the wheel lean feature and the front axle design. Starting with the wheel lean, which enables the operator to lean the wheels to either side, is very beneficial doing a variety of applications such as heavy blading, ditch cutting, or on slope work. This will enable the operator to maintain stability and maintain a straight line. Secondly, the arched axle design starting here to the ground provides maximum clearance when operating over windrowed material. This will help reduce material drag and improve overall fuel efficiency. Now let's focus on the structure of the SCM motor grader, starting with the front frame. The front frame features a proven box section design with top and bottom plates that run from the front bolster all the way to their articulation hitch. This provides maximum consistency and strength for the motor grader. In addition to that, the design of the front frame allows maximum distance between the frame and the drawbar. This allows maximum blade positioning for maximum operation. Let's begin by talking about the drawbar, circle, and moldboard, or DCM. This is obviously where a lot of the work gets done on a motor grader. So if we start to focus in on the key elements and what are the benefits for the operator and for the owner. Starting with the A-frame design drawbar, you can see it's a tubular design that provides maximum strength and durability as the loads are transferred through the blade, up through the circle, and into the frame. Moving on to the circle, we'll talk about the structure and the design. The circle is driven by this hydraulic worm gear and pinion drive. Underneath the circle, the circle is attached to the drawbar by six large shoes. Those shoes are fully adjustable and enable the operator to maintain precision while doing finish grading. For added protection, SEM heat treats 120 degrees of the circle that come in contact with the circle pinion drive. In addition, there are other adjustments that can be made as well as shims between the drawbar and the circle. By replacing these shims on a regular basis, the operator can maintain precision and control when doing finish grading. The SEM motor graders feature a seven hole link bar design. This link bar is unique to many of the motor graders in the industry. The benefit of the link bar enables the operator to get the machine into a, a variety of applications like ditch cutting and high bank slope work. Unlike some of the other competitors in the industry, the SCM motor graders feature a design with replaceable wear inserts. This is beneficial for serviceability and reduced owning costs. In addition, unlike other motor graders in the industry, the SEM motor grader offers a hydraulic pin puller, which enables the operator to very quickly pull the pin and replace the pin once the link bar has been moved. This is fully operational from a button within the cab. Now let's talk about the mold board on the SEM motor graders. SEM offers three different optional lengths, 12, 13, and 14 foot for the three motor graders. If we look at the design specifically, you'll notice it has an optimum curvature design. This allows material to flow freely with the least amount of rim pull 
and fuel burn necessary. If we look at the back of the mold board, you'll see two slide rails, which allows the, the mold board to slide back and forth. These slide rails are heat treated to add additional strength and durability. Many of our competitors do not do this. The mold board top and bottom slide rails are connected by this retention system right here. It is important to visually maintain and, and look at this area to ensure that the wear shims are in good condition. In order to do that, you can very easily remove these two bolts, remove this plate, and check the wear shims for wear. This is a very important part to maintain uh, to ensure that the operator maintains precision and control over the mold board. Another feature of the SEM mold board system is this adjustable side shift anchor position mount. By undoing these bolts, the operator can either move this anchor position to a left bias or right bias position. This will enable the operator to extend the reach further when doing ditch cutting or bank slope work on either side of the machine. Now let's focus in on the hydraulic system of the SCM motor graders. This is a feature that really sets us apart from our competition and adds a lot of value to our customers and to our operators. A load sensing hydraulic system provides power on demand by lowering horsepower consumption and overall system heat. The proportional priority pressure compensating valves shown right here provide consistent predictable movements of the implement cylinders, ensuring precise control when doing finish grading and other applications. The hydraulic flow is proportioned so implements operate simultaneously with little effect during engine speed adjustments or multifunction operation. Now I'd like to focus in on the cab for the SCM motor grader. First thing you'll notice about our cab is that it's mounted on the front frame of the machine. And the reason why we do that is that it provides exceptional visibility for the operator for the critical lines of sight to the inside of the front wheels and also to the mold board. The benefit of mounting the cab on the front frame is that the operator will maintain that line of sight even when he's articulating the machine. Many of our competitors do not do that. They mount their cab on the rear frame. This is a clear advantage for our customers and the operator. now move inside the cab and talk about operator comfort. Operators spend a lot of time within our cabs and it's important that they maintain a comfortable environment. That way they can be more productive and more efficient. So let's take a look at some of the features with inside the SCM motor grader cab. Having a comfortable seat is very important to an operator in keeping him comfortable. So let me demonstrate how I can adjust the SCM motor grader seat. By using this lever down here, I can adjust the seat up and down. With this lever here, I can adjust fore and aft. And on this lever here, I can adjust my backrest fore and aft. On either side, I've got foldable armrests. And then I have a lap belt for safety. Then we look at the control panel. The console here has a foot pedal, which allows the console to move forward towards the operator to get the console into a more convenient location for the operator. You'll notice that the levers are in an industry standard layout, very similar to international brands such as Caterpillar. You'll also notice that the levers are spaced very close together and have very short throws with very little effort required to move the levers. This is important to reduce operator fatigue throughout the day. As we look through the cab, we'll notice that there's good visibility to the critical lines of sight, inside the front tires, to the mold board, and to the instrument panel. It's very important to keep the operator in tune to all the parameters of the machine. And right here in front of him, he can see all of the indicator lights, air pressure levels, fuel gauge, RPM. In terms of operator comfort, we also have a controllable air conditioning heating system that's underneath the seat of the cab. There are many louvers 
throughout the floor, throughout the console to provide good ventilation to keep the operator comfortable. Now let's focus inside the cab and take a look at the right hand console. First you'll notice the gear selection box which has six forward gears and three reverse gears. To my right is the hand throttle to control the engine RPM. That works in conjunction with the foot pedal on the floor. Over here you'll notice the cigarette lighter, overhead lights, beacon warning, windshield wipers and fluid, the hydraulic pin lock for the drawbar center shift, and then finally here is the parking brake. Some additional features within the cab include these dual mounted overhead fans, left and right side opening windows, and a night light. Now let's talk about safety. I'm going to talk about a number of different features focused on safety on our machines. First off, we have four service brakes located at each of the four tandem wheels. This provides maximum stopping capability with the least amount of loads on the powertrain. In addition, we have air brake systems that provide braking power with dual chambers or independent tanks. In the event of a loss of one side, the operator would still have braking capability on the other side. Maintaining three points of contact is very important for operator and serviceman safety. You'll notice on our machines that we have plenty of handrails located at the rear enclosure, on top of the rear enclosure, and on the side of the cab. In order to maintain safe working conditions with ground personnel, all of our SEM motor graders have an electric horn and a reversing alarm and reversing lights. Moving to the rear of the machine, we'll talk about some more of the serviceability items. On the left and right hand side, you'll notice a battery box. Inside this battery box is the master disconnect switch. Opening the left hand side of the engine enclosure provides good access from ground level to all the engine oil fills, checks, and filters, as well as the air filter. Motor graders require regular maintenance and should be greased on regular intervals. In order to understand that better, we can see the lube chart on the side of our machine. We can also reference the OMM for regular service intervals. The Ripper features a parallelogram design which maximizes penetration into the ground. Up to five Ripper shanks can be installed for maximum penetration, as well as nine scarifier shanks for compacted materials. The front blade is very useful for spreading materials and knocking down spoil piles. The SEM 922 offers an exclusive all-wheel drive system. Two independent left and right pumps drive hydraulic flow through the front motor, providing exceptional traction and performance when working in wet underfoot conditions or during snow removal. A ROPS cab is available to provide additional rollover protection or to meet any regional requirements. It's important to make sure that we configure our machines properly for the customer. In order to do that, we offer a number of options from the factory. A few of those options I'd like to talk about are right here, starting with the fenders, radial tires, underneath cab guard, and also the transmission guard. That concludes our SEM Motor Grader Features and Benefits video. Hopefully you now have a better understanding of the key benefits as it relates to performance, the drawbar circle mold board, the operator station, as well as safety. If you have additional questions, please contact your SEM district rep. Thank you for your time.